Hello, this is a video for the 6310 Software Architecture and Design course in the Spring 2019 semester. Our team is A640 and our project was to develop the Osmosis application. We will be talking to and demonstrating the various challenges we faced while creating the application. We had a five-member team consisting of Gukarat, Mark, Raman, Valerie, and Zachary. How are multiple mowers handled? Mowers are assigned positions in the order they are placed on the lawn. The first mower to be placed on the lawn will be labeled Mower, comma, 1, and second mower to be placed on the lawn will be labeled Mower, comma, 2. You can think of these labels as mower positions or ranks. They will be pulled numerically. The puppies, the puppies are handled in the same fashion as well. Determining how to cut the lawn. Before a mower is pulled, the simulation monitor checks several conditions to verify whether the mower is able to move for the current turn or not. For example, some of the checks include checking if the mower is halted by another mower, or if a mower is turned off from previous turns, or if there is a puppy on mower causing it to be stalled. If none of these conditions apply, then the simulation monitor pulls the mower to make a move for this turn. For the first turn, the mower will always scan. The mowers will also scan when they have no information about their surroundings. When mowers have surrounding information, we first check if move by two is possible. To move by two, we first check whether any of the two squares have a lawnmower on it. They do if they do the mower for fists is turned in order to avoid conflict. If there is a puppy on the first square, then mower gets stalled and can't move to the second square until the puppy moves or if the second square contains a puppy. We cancel the move by two and just do a move by one. If move by two is not possible, we find the square we want to move on to. Then we check whether or not the mower is facing toward that square. If it is facing toward the desired square, we decide to move by 1. Else, we do move by 0 and change directions to face toward the desired square. Here is our UI. You can see we have a 10 by 10 lawn with a lot of craters, two puppies, and four mowers that you can see. There are actually five mowers. The fifth mower is hidden beneath a puppy at coordinates 0, 0 at the bottom left. You can see the grid contains the text puppy, 1 and mower, 1. We are representing grass is green, cut grass is white, craters gray, mowers yellow, and puppies red. Since a puppy is on top of the mower, we decided to represent the puppy's color since it is on top. Along the right, you can see where status output gets updated as the lawn is cut. I'll show the lawn getting cut. After that, we will go into a bit more detail about special scenarios and challenges we encountered while developing the Osmosis application. So here's a demo of the lawn getting cut. Hi, my name is Zach Smith. We wanted to showcase two additional scenarios. One, how the knowledge is shared between lawnmowers, and two, a difficult scenario where a lawnmower is surrounded by fence and craters and has one potential move. You'll see that lawnmower one here in the bottom left hand corner of the grid is surrounded by a crater to the north and to the right, and then fences on the left side and beneath it. The first thing that the mower does is scan, takes in its uh, surroundings, and you'll see here that there's fences and only one grass, being the grass in, in square 1-1. One, one. We'll talk about this further later, but this knowledge is being stored in a class called Lawnmower Knowledge in a list of unvisited points. Mower 2 scans, mower 3 scans, You'll see that the first thing that mower 1 does is change its direction to northeast. 
more two, more three, and then eventually it moves one in the direction of northeast. Now, the next thing is looking at the unvisited and visited. When that first 1 1 was initially recorded, it was put into the unvisited list. As soon as more 1 mowed that piece of, uh, of grass, it immediately became a visited square. This list, or these two lists in this class, is shared amongst each of the lawnmowers and they all have access to it. How does the simulation monitor handle collision delay? The simulation monitor keeps track of all the lawnmowers, their positions, and also their mobility values, where negative 1 represents permanent immobilities, 0 represents mobility, and a positive number represents collision delay. When validating a lawnmower's move, the simulation monitor will check to see if there is any other lawnmowers at the destination or in the past of the current lawnmower. If there is any, the mobility value of the current lawnmower will be updated to a given number for collision delay. As we can see here, lawnmower number 5 was trying to move to a square occupied by lawnmower number 4. Lawnmower number 5's mobility value got updated to 3 and it will get stalled for 3 turns. For every next turn, this mobility value will get decremented by 1 until it gets to 0. I am going to show you how the application handled the case where a puppy jumps on top of a lawnmower. When a puppy moves, the states of the detonation lawn square get updated accordingly. If a puppy jumps on a grass square, the states of the square will become puppy's grass. If it jumps onto a lawnmower, the state will become puppy's mower. As we can see here, puppy number 2 is currently on top of lawnmower number 1. The states of the square is puppy's mower. When I click on next, it's the lawnmower number 1's turn. The simulation monitor will check for the states of the square that lawnmower number 1 is currently located. And since it's a puppy mower, lawnmower number 1 will get stalled until the puppy moves away. This is Raman Guntaka. I will explain about our design. Our design uses the solid principles. In our design, every class has only one reason for a change. Some of the classes, like lawn square for example, can be extended without modification. Derived classes, like lawn square with grass, are substitutable for their brace class. Fine grade interfaces are provided for specific behavior and with specific methods. Several aspects of the design depend on abstractions and not on concrete classes. Our design uses Singleton design pattern for lawn and lawnmower knowledge classes. It uses specifically factory and facade. The next question is what algorithms do the lawnmowers use to mow the grass squares? The lawnmowers prefer to use a greedy algorithm. That is, they try to mow the lawn square that is right in front of them. The lawn mowers also use a breadth first search algorithm to find a path to a remote distant grass square. The lawn mowers create an edge between their current location and their neighboring grass squares whenever they scan. When there are no more grass squares around them, they find the closest uncut grass square, they find the path to the closest uncut grass square using the breadth first search algorithm and they traverse to that path. Simulation is also stopped when all the lawn mowers have been turned off. Lawn mowers are turned off only when there are no more traversable grass squares in their combined knowledge. The three grass squares are uncut, however, they are unreachable because they are surrounded by craters.